So for example, if we bring that raw data into a map, immediately we can see that this map is showing us a 19 year pattern of this PM 2.5 data. And it's centered on an important value. So anything in red on this map is not meeting the World Health Organization guideline of 10 micrograms per cubic meter. That's a fancy way of saying the air pollution is not good or the air pollution is bad, the air quality is not good. So we can immediately see some interesting patterns in this map. And while you can just use this map as it is, I'm gonna show you how you can customize this. So right now we're seeing that 19 year average, but I want to go ahead and change what is being shown. Instead, I want to focus on one particular year of data. So I actually am gonna look at 2016, which is the most recent value of this PM 2.5 data. Automatically, ArcGIS Online is gonna give me a suggestion. It says, oh, these are numerical values. And uh, it so gives it to me by size, but I wanna keep on that pattern of showing the color instead. Right away, the map is giving us something interesting. It's showing us kind of a similar pattern to what we saw before of areas uh, with, with poor air quality. But really, we can unlock stories in this data by going into the options and exploring the data itself. So we can see it was centered on 7.9 simply because that's the average of the data for this year. So this is interesting. But with a quick Google search, we can again confirm that World Health Organization value of an annual mean of 10 micrograms per cubic meter as something that is important. It is, is an important threshold that we can be using in our map. So an easy way to highlight a threshold such as this, we can use a diverging color ramp or in ArcGIS Online, this is simply called the above and below theme. What we can do is we can just drag this up to that important value or even type it in. And now our map is centered on something more important. So we're already, already telling a more interesting story. But goodness gracious, these colors are not working for the topic that we're showing. So instead, we can easily transform this map into something more related to the topic. So I might think of dirty air as brown. So this might be a good color ramp. Or if I want to highlight it as danger, I might use something like red. 